Okay, so I'm going to show you how to adjust your spring on for your bobbin case. So right now, this one's kind of out of whack. But if you look, if I turn it, you can tell that it's pretty flat. So I want to make the center of it higher, but I want it to be parallel with the outside. So here's our outside bit. And I want to make the center higher than the outside, but parallel so that it's nice and even. So if I show you this backlash spring, so you have the center. And you can kind of see where the upper part and the lower part are parallel. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and you have four points that you can bend this. You get a pen and kind of point those out. So there's this one here, 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 and here. And so if we want to raise that center part, I'm going to have make sure that my spring is right side up so if I was to put this in the bobbin case this would be the part showing and I'm going to push down on the two lines that are closer to this flat side okay so if I look at it now you can see if I can get the right angle that I've raised it up a bit, but it's not even. It still has that slant here. So then I'm gonna take and turn it upside down. So here's how it was before. And I push down on those. I'm gonna take it, turn it upside down. And now those other two spots, I'm gonna push on. So now if we turn it, let's get it the right angle, it's getting a little closer. It's still a little bit higher on this side, but it's closer. So you want, so you'll just keep playing with that and change how much you've crimped them until it looks closer to here, where it's nice and straight on the bottom and the top. And so then when we put it into our bobbin case, <laughs> trying to watch the camera and watch what I'm doing at the same time is kind of hard. <laughs> so we get it to where it's nice. And in there, nice and flat, there's, um, you have the two, so this, the thicker part here goes on either side of that one and then the two that are closer together go on either side of this on the inside of your bobbin case. Okay, so when we go ahead and put our bobbin in, you can see, let's get the right angle, you can see that there's bounce to it and that it is pretty even. Well, it's hard to get there. Here we go. And it's even all the way around. And that's going to give you a more consistent thread delivery from your bobbin case. Now, if you've adjusted your spring and it's any higher than let's see if it's any higher than like you don't want to see any of the inside of the bobbin from above the bobbin case you, you about there is about the highest you want to see so but you want to have that bounce okay see if that helps you <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too blurry. <laughs>